The nature of the crisis is basically, um, or, or sort of the cycles of the crisis have been that investors lose confidence in one country, sort of started with Greece, went on to Portugal and Ireland, then came the big countries, right? Those were small countries. Then came the big countries, concerns about Italy and Spain in particular, and even France. One part of this crisis is a result of the fact that some, and this is not true across the board of the countries in trouble, but some countries did in fact overspend and got into trouble, right? The way that, you know, anybody using a credit card, if you overspend, you can't pay your bills, you're in trouble. Same, this is basically what happened with Greece. Um, it was different for some other countries, right? I mean, for countries like Portugal, it was really a question of they just never really grew very much. They didn't, um, their economy has been stagnant for a decade. With Ireland, it was very much connected to the financial crisis of 2008. Um, Ireland's economy was largely dominated by finance. It was um, one of the big countries where there was a housing boom and then bust, right? And, the, and basically the government had to bail out the entire banking sector, which is like a third of the economy. We will lose economic growth this year um, because of Europe's downturn. Um, and that's why Obama has been very, uh, he, he doesn't want to get pulled in so much that the United States has to make some sort of commitment to helping to bail out European economies. But at the same time, he can't afford to have um, the United States take a big hit economically as a result of Europeans inability to resolve their crisis. So it's actually been said that the only person who truly controls Obama's re-election chances in 2012 is Angela Merkel, the Chancellor of Germany. Because if she acquiesces to the type of deal that most economists would say is necessary to truly resolve the European debt crisis, um, then that will be a very good thing for Obama. Um, because it will um, reduce the risks to the American economy. From a political science point of view, and especially from an international relations point of view, we tend to de-emphasize the role of individuals, right? Because um, the, the sort of the gist of the sub-discipline of international relations is that there are always larger forces at work, right? That individuals don't actually have that much agency in situations like this, that they're just responding to pressures that kind of force them to do this rather than that, right? And so what I would say as, as a political scientist, as, as somebody who studies international relations, is that you, you basically we pay more attention or we should pay more attention both to the leaders of, as well as the domestic politics of the most powerful countries, right? So there's a reason why we're paying attention to the domestic politics of Germany and the leader of Germany, but not so much the domestic politics of um, Portugal or Greece or Slovakia, right? Because Germany matters. Um, Germany is the only country in Europe that has the financial credibility and to some extent the fiscal um, space to do what's necessary to resolve the crisis. The key term to understanding the German mentality here is moral hazard, right? Is that the predominant German perspective has been that, um, that countries need to be made disciplined like we are, right? This is, you know, um, somebody posed the question 20 years ago after the reunification of Germany, are we gonna have a European Germany or are we going to have a German Europe? Um, and some people would say we're getting a German Europe now because Merkel has basically said the only thing we will do is we will provide some funds to help you get through this crisis if you restructure your economies to look more like us. Amid the doom and gloom, you know, the optimist in me wants to say, well, you know, nobody has yet said screw this, you know, I'm going to go it alone. And, you know, I don't think anybody's going to. That doesn't mean that the crisis will be resolved, but it does mean that 
politics, although it's standing in the way of a possible solution, um, politics is also on the positive side standing in the way of a complete breakdown.